I had four fingers in my ass when I came through security and they told me I was only allowed to have two. So they took the other ones out. I needed a pack of cigarettes so I treated a guy a lizard. Wow. I found it. Wow. Wow, all right. Ultra Music Festival. We're here with Red Cup Miami. My name's Michael. I've had five Red Bulls today. Texas is not back. I'm trying to get a double decker. Two girls on my shoulders. But it happened my first year. I'm gonna try and get in my tent. Have you been like doing legs since to get stronger? Or how are you preparing? Um, actually, I threw on my back like sneezing because I'm 30 now. So That's tough. summarize briefly what Ultra means to you. Ultra. It's my friend's birthday, so I had to come to Ultra to visit because it's just glorious. Of course. Hey. People bring costumes to Ultra, others bring reptiles. What's the strategy here? Pretty girls love snakes. So tell me what this flag represents to you. This flag represents my whole group called Scrummies. We here at Ball Have Fun, and we're here to get lit. What inspired this outfit? Mushrooms. What? They, they look so no mushrooms. I've never done drugs in my life. <laughs> never. Never. Not even before this. Maybe the day before this, but before, but since today, never. I don't know if you realize this, but the USA just lost to Japan in the World Baseball Classic. What's your message to Japan as the representative of the USA? Japan, just be more open. You're very close country. That's what we need, more openness. I, I guess I agree, bro. Are you a big EDM guy? Yeah. So what does EDM do to your soul? It opens my heart. It opens my, my soul. It makes me vibe. Yo, I get the whole goosebumps. I feel so numb. I get a music high. That shit hits so hard, that drop hits so hard, that I'm on a different level. Like, I'm I'm like floating. It makes my soul ascend to a whole nother planet, truly. Like, I lose myself, I come out of my body, and then I come back in the Uber. EDM doing to my soul. Oh, um, I'm just like, it's fucking it from behind, and uh, I don't know, it's like, <laughs> that's fucking crazy. I think I have to go to the doctor. My heart is palpitating so hard because I'm in such love. I love this place. It's amazing. Very reviving, very healing. Um, the thing I love about EDM is there's so many subgenres, so you get to experience different variety of it. Boom, 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 boom. It makes me feel something that no no girl can make me feel, you know? Is there any girl in specific you want to hear that? Her name's Kate. Fuck you, Kate. <laughs> Fuck you, Kate. Woo! I'm a video when I'm there. Woo! 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 If you were a snake for the day, what do you think you would want to do with other snakes? <laughs> I would want to hang around people instead of snakes. Hell yeah, normalize snakes. What's on your finger? For you. Take one. I just got a fish. I want to rock it! Yeah. <laughs> Your buddies over here? Yeah. Oh, we got Squatchini! Hey! You guys are matching today. We gotta be better than them. Hello. Tell us your pick. A. Hey, vote in the comments. Or B. Vote in the comments. The answer is A. One big step for man. One giant leap for mankind. So Sounds correct. I failed social studies. English? Spanish. Espanol? Espanol. Mi, mi espanol es más o menos. Más o menos. Más o menos. Okay. Pues, what you want? E explica tu sombrero. Mi sombrero. Tu sombrero. ¿Qué significa? Sombrero significa. Sin es bonito. Super. Tell the world what Ultra is all about. Ultra is about looking at all the hot ass. <laughs> Already. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you look like a Fortnite character and I love it. What is the worst kind of person at Ultra? Uh, it's one that's not sexy. The kind that won't touch my butt. The worst kind the of person like who, who, like... who don't dance. The people who don't dance? That and then the like the security, uh, like because they are like security, you know? The person who fucking kicked me in the back of my leg because my sister pushed him. Oh shit. That's really fucked up. Really hard, bro. That's Maybe fucked up. I thought it was me. My sister pushed him and he kicked me really hard. Cell phone thieves. Cell phone thieves. Yes. Yeah, I agree with that statement. I got my shit stolen last night. The one that's high out of his fucking mind and he just keeps talking shit. Us. Us. Us? Can you, can you like describe why? Because uh, we're you know, feral. You, yeah, you don't want to be around us. The ones that don't say excuse me when they're moving through the fucking crowd, dude. They just bump into you and try and move you out your way. I hate that shit. Uh, the people that don't know how to... Um, handle their party favors, the people that have uh, that, that have 
you know, drank a little too much or have uh, taken a little too much uh, there of the extracurricular activities. Thieves. Yeah. Thieves. I have my wallet stolen, but I found and lost and found. So the people that, that replaced the wallets, fucking beautiful. People will steal your phones. They suck. The guys who are six foot tall and are hot as fuck, and then us like threes have to just deal with that. Fair enough. Worst kind of person at Ultra is that douchebag that just keeps pushing through the crowd, doesn't say excuse me, not enjoying the vibes. Everyone's here for a vibe and you're fucking it up. Can you make a beat drop with your voice on the spot? Beat drop with, with my, like, like doing like... Right now, like beatbox. What's the most fuck shit you've seen since you've been at Ultra? Most fuck shit I seen was 2014, my first Ultra. Girls stripped down and fucked a tree at the Oasis stage, naked. Wow, all right. Most fucked up shit I've seen at Ultra. Honestly, not a lot of fuck shit. Like, everybody's pretty chill. Saw a person doing molly off their pinky in the line, I would say that's it. Just a kid puke on himself and keep dancing. I think that was me. Man, this is actually my first festival. So I was not surprised. Like, what the hell? This is crazy. There's so many crazy people, so many crazy stuff happening here. I can't, I can't reflect it at this moment. Could you tell me what the most fuck shit you've seen since you've been at Ultra? Someone's pussy. All right, bathrooms were crazy yesterday. Someone's taking a shit in the bushes. Someone's taking the shit in the bushes, bro? Yeah. I think so. Honestly, like, I haven't seen much. Um, there was this guy, he was, like, bald, but he had these, like, little, little dreads in his hair, but, like, no hair on top of his head. It was kind of amazing. A chick giving a blowjob on a guy flying over here. The guy was, like, literally flying a Cessna on his way over here, and he was getting head. Damn, bro, he's him. Dude, it was, uh, dude, this, it was great. That was the craziest thing. Honestly, I haven't seen too much fuck shit. I've been lucky. Alright, we're lucky. Everyone's been having a safe time that, that I've seen, so, you know, go Ultra. I just got here. These girls are keeping me alive. There's a huge line up there for the water. I can't deal with it. These guys are making it bearable. I don't even know this he, man. He just, he's he a just gift kid. Gift. Are we doing an interview right now? Yeah, hop in. Are you guys buddies? The entire time, I'm going to be spraying water at myself while I'm raving. We got all the water in Miami right now. All the water, that's a lot of water. How do you get all that water? We Listen, it's not easy. We got the connection for water. We got the water connection. Whatever you need, we got it. Water and more water. So, ultra, three-day event, absolute grinds. What's your strategy for surviving? You got some camelbacks, got some empty bottles to piss in. Empty right. bottles to piss in? That's the plan. If we, We're going to try to get up front for Swedish House Mafia. Lots of sleep. Lots of sleep, bro. Oh, I, come on, boring yeah, ass yeah, answer, yeah, yeah. bro. Come on. Trust me, trust me. Okay, fine, fine. You want the real answer? A lot of drugs. What is your drink of choice to stay hydrated? Uh, Whiskey. Came all the way from Buffalo. Bill's Mafia. Survival here is sitting when you can. Staying out of the sun. Having a few drinks, but not too many. And enjoying the show. Yeah! Who wants the Red Bull? Yeah! <laughs> we get an interview real quick. You look electric. <laughs> Ultra is a three-day festival, absolute grinds. How are you surviving this week? How am I surviving my friends? Ah! How, so you're keeping him alive this week? Yeah, he said, oh, yeah. You know, if he sticks with me, he'll, he'll be good. He'll be good. He doesn't stop dancing. Ultra is a three-day festival. What's your strategy to survive? Always do uh, two days before, warm up a little bit, get drunk the first night and the second, and two days after. To survive the three-day festival, yeah. you go on a seven-day bender. Yeah. That's genius. Yeah, yeah. And I took shrooms on the first day. That's a trick too. I have no idea how I'm gonna do it, but like I'm pretty psyched for it. I think the enthusiasm is gonna take me through the three days. But he's my best friend. It was in our bucket list since the past 10 years to visit Ultra and like your VR. Ultra Music Festival, we're at day two. We're walking into the main stage, which is where the main events are. Doing what Trent Richardson couldn't. What's the meaning of life? I don't care for Paris and I love Miami. Okay. He nailed that, he nailed that interview. Can I give a shout out? Yeah, give a shout out. 
Shout out to my mom. I love you. I just met our fullback. We just signed him. He's leading the way. Oh my God, what a hole. Go, go, go. <laughs> Red Cup News, day two, signing off from Ultra. We hit a wall, so we can't move forward anymore. We're pretty far back, but it's not about how close you are. It's about the vibes. Happy day two. What timing? What fucking timing? That wasn't even planned. So we're at day three. What's been the secret to surviving Ultra? You're here still alive. Water. So much water, like more water than you've ever drank. Pink bananas, uh, great choice. Yes. What inspired you to wear pink bananas today? Well, my wife is actually strawberries. Oh, that's cute. Um, so we're strawberry banana smoothies because that's what we like to eat. Is she jealous that we're matching a little better, you think? Um. Probably. So, you're talking to someone that's going to Ultra next year. Do you have any recommendations? Wear zipper pockets. I would say don't come with anything on you. Like, just like come with your phone and that's it. And then, like, stick with your friends. Bring a big group. Don't do ketamine. Don't do ketamine. No ketamine. So, for everyone that's doing ketamine, what do you want to tell them? Don't do it. Show up. Literally, just show up. Don't expect anything. Just fucking show up. This is my first year here. I love it. It's great. Octopus have eight hearts. Does eight that hearts. make... That's a fun... That's true. Okay. Does it make you more romantic to have eight hearts? No. Eight times more susceptible to heartbreak? I don't think so. This guy is the most amazing acapella singer you'll ever meet. We gotta get some acapella now. I beatbox. You want me to do a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I do the mic? You know? Good stuff. Good stuff. Power Rangers, what do you want people to know about your group? Your group of five. We're here to save the day. That's about it. <laughs> How are you saving the day? Raving real hard. What do you want? One second, one second. You want me to dance? Okay. One second, one second. Woo! No, 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 these, these shirts are hella bright. Do you have anything you want to tell the world? Uh, Messi's better than Ronaldo. Uh, not really, just stay hydrated, I suppose. Hey, wise words of wisdom, have a good festival. Smile a lot, be happy, have good energy, and just stay positive every day. 15 seconds, anything you want to tell the world? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're okay. Okay, one more time. You good? Uh, yeah. I'm good, I'm good. Anything at all. Fuck her right in the pussy. Ah, I appreciate it, bro. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Last thing, what do you guys want to tell America? What, anything on your chest, what do the people need to know? The thing you don't want to do the most, do it. Just go out there. If someone tells you you have to try it, go try it. What's the thing that you don't want to do the most? What's the thing I don't want to do the most? See, that's hard because I want to do anything. I want to do everything and everything. It's, like, it's kind of hard. Quick message back to our fans. What do you want to tell them? Uh, like and subscribe. Right? Thank you. Appreciate yeah, no it. Is anything you'd like to tell the world? I fucking love Ultra! Hi, Mo! What do you want to tell America? What do the people need to know? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Grow your own food. Dude, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Take the first one. Hell yeah. Do the first person. Thank you, sir.